The story of Lee Matthews and Donovan Moodley is a haunting and notorious case that unfolded in South Africa in 2004. It is a chilling narrative of kidnapping, extortion, and ultimately, murder. Here's an in-depth overview of this tragic event. Lee Matthews, a 21-year-old student at the University of Johannesburg, found herself at the center of this harrowing tale. On July 9, 2004, her life took a horrifying turn. As she was leaving a yoga class at the Melrose Arts Shopping Complex in Johannesburg, she was confronted and abducted by an armed assailant. The perpetrator left behind a ransom note, demanding a substantial sum of money from Lee's family in exchange for her safe release. Tragically, despite frantic efforts by her family to meet the kidnapper's demands, Lee Matthews' life was cruelly cut short. On July 13, 2004, her lifeless body was discovered in the back seat of her car, which had been abandoned in a township. She had been asphyxiated with a plastic bag, a grim end to a promising young life. The investigation into Lee Matthews' kidnapping and murder cast a spotlight on Donovan Moodley, a young man whose name would become synonymous with this heinous crime. Moodley was known to Lee, as they had both attended the same university. As the evidence mounted, he was arrested and subsequently charged with the crimes that shocked the nation. During Moodley's trial, the chilling details of the case were unveiled. It was revealed that he not only kidnapped Lee Matthews but also engaged in a heart-wrenching phone conversation with her family while she was in captivity. Despite desperate negotiations for her release, Moodley carried out the unimaginable act of murder. In August 2005, the courtroom rendered its judgment, finding Donovan Moodley guilty of kidnapping, murder, and extortion. For his heinous crimes, he was sentenced to life in prison for the murder and received an additional 15 years for the charges related to the kidnapping and extortion. While the motive behind Moodley's actions remained a subject of speculation, the prosecution argued that he had targeted Lee Matthews for financial gain. The Lee Matthews case left an indelible mark on South Africa. It served as a stark reminder of the pervasive dangers of crime in the country and the vital role played by both law enforcement and vigilant communities in combating such atrocities. The profound impact of this shocking and tragic criminal case continues to resonate in the collective memory of the nation, a reminder of the fragility of human life and the enduring quest for justice.